The Yellowstone volcano could bring about biblical implications for up to six years, if it was to erupt again in the future, a geophysicist warned during a documentary on the world's biggest natural disasters. Welcome back to the channel, today we're going to review the implications of Yellowstone eruption, from the perspective of geophysicist, Michael Rampineau. Please be sure to subscribe, like and share. Be sure to watch to the end, so you can hear about the implications from an eruption that occurred in 1816. The Yellowstone volcano has erupted three times in history, 2.1 million years ago, 1.2 million years ago and 640,000 years ago. Scientists have previously revealed that, should an eruption occur, it could take less than two weeks before a catastrophic reaction event with the potential to wipe out a huge part of the United States is triggered. However, geophysicist, Michael Rampineau is more concerned with the effects after the initial eruption. The geophysicist and professor at New York University revealed during the BBC's Super Volcano series how the world would be affected for up to six years by volcanic ash. He said in 2015, you cannot grow anything in volcanic ash, as we saw with Mount St. Helens. It wipes out the breadbasket of the world. Recovery would be a long process, so where does food come from in the meantime? Imagine six years without a growing season, I foresee a very biblical time where civilization would be strained at the roots. This eruption would be the most severe conditions human beings have ever met. The last eruption of Yellowstone produced around 2,500 times more volcanic material than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. This created an eruptive column so colossal that it covered around 60% of the United States in a thick layer of ash. Should the same happen again, a mixture of ash, lava blebs and superheated gas exceeding temperatures of 1000 degrees Celsius could move at speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. If the pyroclastic flow hits anyone, they would possibly die within seconds, as the air could heat up to around 300 degrees Celsius. Mr. Rampineau also revealed how this huge pyroclastic cloud could also ground planes. Any aircraft heading over the state of Wyoming faces the possibility of suddenly nosediving should the mixture of rock, minerals, and volcanic glass suffocate their engines. He said, the ash can go into the jet engines and coat it. There have been horrifying predictions of planes just losing their power and nosediving while the pilots try to figure out how to get the plane under control. There are lots of ways you can die. Another way would be to inhale the stuff, the glass attacks the lungs, the bones and kill you from the inside. According to research published by the Global Volcano Model Network, in 2018, more than 278,000 people have died as a direct result of volcanoes, in the last 500 years. The international team of experts also listed the places most at risk of volcanic activity. Mount Tambora, on the island of Sumbawa, directly killed 70,000 people in 1815, leading to a year without summer, across the northern hemisphere. The eruption temporarily altered the climate, meaning the volcano ultimately claimed even more victims through famine and disease. Geophysicist, Michael Rampineau's concerns are not unfounded, documentation on the climate change that occurred after the 18. 15 eruption can be found in North America, Europe, and Asia. The eruption of Tambora, caused Europe to suffer from food shortages. Food riots broke out in the United Kingdom and France and grain warehouses were looted. The violence was worst in landlocked Switzerland, where famine caused the government to declare a national emergency. Huge storms and abnormal rainfall with flooding of Europe's major rivers, including the Rhine, are attributed to the event as is the August frost. A major typhus epidemic occurred in Ireland between 1816 and 1819, precipitated by the famine, caused by the year without a summer. An estimated 100,000 Irish perished during this period. A BBC, documentary, using figures compiled in Switzerland, estimated that the fatality rates in 1816 were twice that of average years giving an approximate European fatality total of 200,000 deaths. Geophysicist, Michael Rampineau's concerns are real, 
we have documentation explaining the devastation from the past eruptions. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, like and share.